Okay. So, we have some options here. Um, Warpstone tokens. Miscast wow. base chance plus five. So, they, Skaven have a skill that gives them more magical power, but also gives them a larger chance to fuck up their spells. That's I like very it. Skaven, actually. Um, yeah, warp, but, warp Lightning. Why the fuck not? Yeah, Warp Lightning was so good, man. Yeah. Win some magic reserves for the chances why, to cast more. Why of that. the fuck not? That's just too thematic to even. Oh, no, wait, we want to level up. Your breath weapon first, yeah. Okay. No units in danger of dying from attrition. And, uh... So we can't level up replenish troops again until rank, rank five. 5. So might as well just make them a better killer. Dance of death, melee defense, and melee attack yeah. plus 4. That's Not pretty bad. good to get both of those in one skill. Not... 15 minutes left here. Not bad. All right, here we Are go. Are we really going to try to sally out here? All right. Um, what do they have? Clan rats with shields. Night, night runners, runners are good. Ooh. feel like we might want to fall back and wait for Queek. I think so. Yeah, this army isn't that scary, but this... Uh, it could go either way. Oh, are they ambushing us? They're ambushing us. God damn it. Is he still gonna get? All right, this is this is probably gonna be a disaster. But you know what? It's gonna be our disaster. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna belong to us. It's gonna belong to us. So we might lose an entire army, but we will make them hurt bad enough that when Queek gets here, they will pay for their transgression. They will pay. And remember, they gonna pay. Blistit has a. Uh, some serious warp lightning he can he call does. down. He is our best. He is our best gracier right now. So if we can use his warp lightning to its best effect, and we don't get a miscast and blow ourselves literally <laughs> sky high, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's only a plus five percent chance. Were his famous last words. <laughs> List it. Reminds me that reminds me of time this time's playing D and D where it's yeah. like Oh, it's only a plus one yeah, modifier uh -huh. and it's like, oh uh, suddenly a lot more of those rolls are going <laughs> against me. I can wear leather armor, it's fine. <laughs> yup. That was such a funny thing about third edition is like the more restrictive your armor is, the the more the chance that you're gonna do the hand signal wrong <laughs> and kill yourself. Like it's kinda weird weird logic but i guess it makes sense all right so here is kind of what i think here's kind of what i think um it's almost a certainty that he's going to be attacking us from two sides at once and we're in this big spread out column which is horrible mm-hmm um oh really is he oh really is that his entire army uh i mean we don't know if they're behind us but if that's his whole army he's gonna wish his army isn't large it's not large um i anyway, probably don't want the grace here in melee so we have almost no winds of magic which is fantastic um you want to target his shock infantry, if possible. Oh, oh it's going to miss. Okay, that was a glancing hit. Yeah, they <laughs> we, we triggered it too fast. Yeah. They, they move. We need to remember that. Okay, well, they didn't come in behind us. They are using Menace Below against us. We do have four uses of Menace Below ourselves, which we can use to take out these Slingers. So now that we're engaged in melee... Are these... I want to make sure I know whose clan rats I'm hitting. Red is theirs. Alright, you're going to have to disengage from melee or get hit. Oh. There we go. Alright. That'll do. 
We might have enough for one more. We do have enough for one more. So get closer to the fighting. We want your leadership aura. Meanwhile, we are going to menace below. Oh, you're walking right into it. You're walking right into it, motherfuckers. The animations are starting to stutter because there are literally so many rats on the screen right now that the engine cannot deal with it. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to make them hurt here. Our clan rats are as good as their clan rats, and our clan rats are going to trade, trade favorably against their clan rat spears because shock infantry always beats... So yeah, flank infantry. that, man. Yeah, just just get get some flanking going on. Menace down below the nice. slingers, man. Do it. Menace down below more. Alright, they're moving, they're moving. Where are they moving to? No, well, I tried to hit their slingers, but we ended up behind their line anyway, so... <laughs> oh, and they're menacing below on top of our menace below. This is why Scave and Civil Wars are such a clusterfuck. Just keep nailing them. Yep. We're gonna hit some of our own guys. That's okay. Such is the life of the Skaven. Our menace from All down right. below, boys. Routed. We're starting to route them. Okay, so there's the fortress garrison on their way. They're the, they have some decent units, so we're going to have to be careful. We'll save our last two uses of minutes from below for those guys. For the next fight. Yeah. They're going to try to warp lightning on our units that are already routing and are summoned from a spell. <laughs> that was one of the worst uses. That they possibly could have... Oh, is that their warlord? Kill him! Where's our grace here? I know you're not a melee lord, but we're gonna need you to... We're gonna need you to punch above your weight class here. Clan rats. Yeah, we're about to route their entire force with main army. Without really taking a ton of damage here. And there goes their lord. Oh, everybody. Everybody's wavering. All right. We want a united attack across the entire front. Yep. Get them. We, we swept those fuckers aside. Holy crap. And man, is his warp lightning not accurate. <laughs> it is not. Yeah, this is this is going to turn into a cleanup operation. And we caught their uh, their night runners in the forest, where their ranged weaponry is not really going to do them a whole lot of good. Yeah, we just got to finish these guys here. Yeah, they keep coming back. <laughs> We've almost got enough Winds of Magic built up for another... Oh, yeah. Not that we really need to. The trees are providing ample cover for our melee troops, but... It'll be good to have another unit off the field. Make sure our Gray Seer doesn't get too far ahead of himself. Alright, come on, guys. Oh, they have shields. That's part of why they're lasting a little longer. They put a piece of wood in front of their faces, and all of a sudden they think they're hot shit. Clan rats versus clan rats with shields, yeah. The shields are making a difference, but... It's not going to be enough of a difference once we have our army united. 
Yep, yeah, we're just mopping. As long as our gray seer is alright, he is. Fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, if we can get a direct hit on the night runners. Hell oh. yeah! Alright. He's still only level four. <laughs> that could have been more impressive. <laughs> Who's rallying? Who rallied? Somebody rallied. I don't know who rallied. Thank you, though. <laughs> Whoever rallied... Appreciate your service to the Ender Empire. Alright. So now it's just gonna be a giant clusterfuck rat fight in the forest. <laughs> Pretty much. Yup. Yes! We broke through their range troops! Arkstorm came back. Yeah, but if we can take care of him, I think that'll start that chain route we're looking for. So we're going to center our offensive on him. Definitely. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you? That I think that changed the battle. Got some warriors fleeing. They've got a warlock engineer here, but he's not going to be good in melee. Okay, so we're bright red and they're dark red. Yeah, we're green. That's kind of how you know the green HP bars. Oh, okay. That would that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our warlord is not taking any damage. Yes, awesome. Get back to the fight. <laughs> Skaven slaves. These are literally the shittiest unit in the game. Come on, if we can take out their lord. I feel like we might need to, to be honest. This yeah, is well, starting to tilt a little bit out of our favor here. We're getting some wavering going on, but... I'm pretty sure we're going to bloody them enough anyway that when Queek gets here, we'll be fine. Yeah, I think they're gone. <laughs> they don't have the little skull icon, so they could still rally, but I don't know if they will. Yeah, if we weren't fighting in the forest, we'd be super screwed right now. The fact that we are fighting in the forest is uh, helping us quite a bit because it means that we can have cover against their range troops. Yeah, we're not going to have enough power to do another lightning. Their lord is almost dead. If we could just get him to route again, we could start a chain route across the entire line. Oh... Saw his morale bar drop. He's hurting. He's hurting. Keep up the attack. Yes. Go, oh God, do we need that? Like, God, did we need that really bad? Yes. Flank the ranged. Flank them! Flank them! Come on with their lord! It's hilarious that we're doing as well as we are with an army of just clan rats. I think they're... Those are those, those are their guys. And they're done. Yeah, they're completely routed. It's still a skull and bloody flag means they are not coming back. <laughs> it's just a white flag. They might come back. Okay, our lord is starting to take a pounding. I have to pull him back so that he doesn't die and lose us the battle. 
Yeah, no, good call. And he's routing. Okay. Ungroup everybody. Dogpile their lords. <laughs> That's our last... <laughs> our last hope is to abandon tactics. And just kill that guy. He's shaking. Shaking and exhausted. Musk of fear. Man, I can't wait till we're done uniting the Skaven. I know. We don't have to fight clusterfuck <laughs> battles <laughs> like this anymore. Yeah, this is, uh... Even their warlock engineer is, like, holding his own in the melee. For a caster hero, that's pretty impressive. Kill him! Kill him! Kill! Vermintide! Kick his ass! Kick his ass, Seabass! What's funny is the computer gives us the edge in this battle right now. Yeah, I think on paper we still have it. I don't know if that's at all actually accurate. But if we can if we can route their leader permanently or kill him. Oh, come on. Come on, we're so close. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. He's using his rally horn. But he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, that actually might be good that he he bolstered his own morale because it might mean he stays in the battle long enough to die. <laughs> long enough to do the gentlemanly thing and just die. He's holding his own. Shoot, man. When is our lord going to rally? That'd be nice. Yeah, he's probably going to... You damn coward. Wait until he actually gets somewhere safe, which he's currently caught in the melee before he can rally. But Come on, he's got so little health left. As soon as there we go, the morale buff wore off, and he is gonna run away. Run so far away. Come, Come on. on. All of his units are starting to waver because he's wavering. Come on. Come on. Everybody. Uh. Everybody. Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay. We're going to group up. Hard group. And who is the next target of opportunity? Let's go after these Skaven Slave Slingers. Spread out. Super aggro across the entire line. Push, push, push. Sweep them off the field. They're... Warlock is about to route. Yes, Their clan rats are routing. Their lord looks like he's not going to get out of the melee before we kill him. There we go. Now the warlock engineer's routing. They have no line left. Just go after their range troops. Go after the range troops and kill them. Yes, it's a chain route! Yes! Hallelujah! Uh, that's the battle, y'all. Yeah. We beat them. We beat two armies with our, like, third yeah. army. <laughs> that is awesome. The terrain was extremely helpful. Uh, well, it, it, gotta it, hand it to the terrain. <laughs> the, we'd been, the terrain played a good game. If we'd been out in open ground, those uh, night runners would have taken us apart. <laughs> yup. Oh, look at this. 61... Clan rats are whooping the ass of their 123 Skaven slaves. No, or were. Yeah, well, no. Okay, they routed anyway. Chain route! Yay! Yep, that's that. All right. Holy crap. Well, that I was got, an ambush battle, too. <laughs> I gotta, We got to see the aftermath. Yeah, all of right. Cor of course it cost us dearly. Of course yeah. it did. Yeah. Oh my god, ow! But look, we didn't lose any full units. <laughs> no, but ow. But yeah. we, and we we wrecked them. Holy, Arkstorm's yeah. army is done. So we, we lost 1,400, but we killed about 1,900, which is good. It's good for us. And Queek arrives next turn yes. with a fresh, with our best army fresh. <laughs> They're done. 
they are they are just done. They are... So the lesson we should learn here is that while often regarded as a new bass punk strategy, <laughs> ungrouping everything and right clicking on their lord can sometimes <laughs> actually work. Yeah. And and did in that context. We just needed to lay enough DPS on him to get him to route. Well, and that was the difference. And then the whole thing started to go. Around. There, it was who who was who was going to uh, who was going to route first. Yeah, and I, I thought when our our Lord routed, that was the battle. Uh huh. But I think it was because we still had some units of clan rats that were fairly strong and that yeah. were winning the fights they were in that we survived that and had one last chance to break them. And when we well, we broke their Lord and their warlock engineer, that was it. They were done. And we really only... We, we got there fast enough that we really only needed to fight one army at a time. There wasn't really a time where we were fighting both armies simultaneously. Except for, like, the last few uh, clan rat spears on the left flank took a little while to break. After, after that whole wing of the army was destroyed, it was pretty much 1v1, and I think we had a numbers advantage, so... They had much better troops, but they were fighting with a very ranged focus roster in dense woodland um, where That's they not good. couldn't take advantage of their ranged troops and that well. Firing into firing into trees, firing mm -hmm. into trees is a massive range debuff in Total War games. Yeah. Massive. And it's not like a little debuff. It's like something like minus 50 or something like that. It, it's, yeah. It's crazy. They, they would have completely taken us apart on open ground uh, with that many... Uh, slingers and uh, night runners. So, absolutely, yeah. So not too bad. Oh, not too bad at all. The odds were they were slightly against us. They weren't overwhelmingly against us. They outnumbered us by about three hundred, which in Skaven terms is not that great. Their war, their warlord got so many goddamn kills. He got one hundred and sixty-five kills. Well, it's because he was in the um, thick of the fight. But yeah, look at their range troops. Their range troops got, like, less than 20 kills each, which made a huge difference. Um, our clan rats, like, holy shit, dude. Like, we have, a unit, we have a unit of clan rats. Clan rats. Clan rats with 192 kills. That That's clan rats. These are shit tier. <laughs> they're not shit tier, but they're a step above shit tier infantry. <laughs> Hey man, yeah. we're we got we're gonna have some veteran like rank five, rank six clan rat units out there. <laughs> we'll be like, we may be clan yeah. rats, <laughs> but we have we have it going on. We're veterans, <laughs> veterans of the clan wars. <laughs> We've seen some shit, <laughs> not just our own. We see a lot of that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. How about we? Uh, yeah, we're yeah, gonna eat, eat some, some captives. captives. Um, we captured 137 of the enemy. I'll take it. Oh yeah, and you're you're done. They're even fleeing. Yeah, we might actually even be able to. T oh, they did go back to the city. I was like, if they abandon the city, we'll just take it. Um. Anyway, I think quick. That's, let's that's let's gonna take be, let's okay. take the city. All right, we'll take the city. Who? What? Oh, uh, uh, dwarf gouger's been stolen. Queek immediately slays two of his most trusted lieutenants. We're clearly, clearly to, to blame. blame. It is irrelevant that he was the last one in possession of it. <laughs> Killing of his loyal followers is not enough to sate the headtaker's rage. So he lashes out at the closest enemies, for they are clearly the thieves. In some way. <laughs> <laughs> so no no due process yeah, going no. on here, from what I can and tell. And deep down in his verminous mind, he knows that keeping his horde busy will distract from his own incompetence and losing one of Clan Moore's most priceless artifacts. Okay. Um, Tor Ellis? Really? They called the elves in to help them? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll deal with that. Um, Queek, take it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll move everybody up. And then Queek, can you get there in one turn? He can. So we're about to have uh, another hey elf guys, invasion. Hey, guys. We're back. There we go. Oh, we lost, lost something. One unit of clan rat. We lost a few units of clan rats. That's okay. They were beat to shit already. And uh, this we can occupy because it's a suitable climate. So we'll do so. Bold. Awesome. Nice. Charge bonus. Leadership. I like le leadership bonus. Arc storm. Awesome. He was killed in battle. Finally. 
Warp stone armor. Nice. Causes damage to combatants stronger than multiple combatants. Nice. Province secure the shifting mangrove cult lot. By clan Mordkin. All right, clan elves, Mordkin are you dead? Wow. And <laughs> we completed the quest in one uh, battle. Yep. The aftermath of Queek's real or maybe false rage. <laughs> See, there's 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 uh, there's reasonable doubt here. I feel. <laughs> yep. Uh, but, one of his sniveling minions approaches and concludes that a clan Eshin assassin was the actual thief. For a moment, Queek is tempted to rip out the messenger's throat <laughs> at this news, but realizes that if he keeps killing his loyal servants, he'll run out of followers. So pragmatic. Yes, I like it. very pragmatic. Uh, instead, Queek settles for a swipe with his claw, sending the inferior flying before rearing to his full height and demanding the perpetrator must be found. He promotes the servant he has just struck to Chief Finder. Giving Queek a convenient scapegoat should the search prove super. <laughs> I feel like we're getting a, a nice inside yeah, look as to uh, how he governs. Yeah. Um. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll pick a skill for him. And okay, so we've unlocked both of his special quests. That's good. So we've got melee defense, hit points, weapon strength is really good. Okay. Does that eventually upgrade against elves? It does. Against it's a high, high elves. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah, I might as well get that up, I get think. That, get that to the level we need it first. All right. There we and go, y'all. next time, uh, we will prepare to uh, defend against the... You know, I like these might, might makes right yeah. legal codes. This is so simple. We well, just dogpile into battles, and the winner kind of writes the rules. Here's like another that. thing I really like that they've added for uh, Warhammer 2, there's actually shoals. So if the High Elves try to attack here or here, some of their boats are going to sink and they're going to take attrition. So we know that if they're smart, they will probably be attacking either here or here, which honestly is pretty necessary for balancing because High Elves are really good at boating. Yeah, High Elves, are, <laughs> high elves have good boats. They have, they have significantly good boats. All right, and we'll keep upgrading. Yep. Yeah. All right, and be sure to check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We are at loresworn order on Twitter. I am at asa tj. Dm is at dm schmeyer. We'll be back with more of this. Uh, there will be more Stellaris in the near future. For those of you that missed it this week, more EU four as soon as we have time to record it. And uh, it's coming. Yeah. Subscribe for more. We'll see you guys soon.